I'm Jazz, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It is the last week of Halloween makeup looks on this channel for this year, which is so sad, but Christmas is right around the corner, it's up next. I will be producing some prime content, so stick around for that. Before we get started, please make sure to subscribe. It means the absolute world to me. We are so close to the 100 mark and every time I see that sub number go up it just like the happiness that I get from it is inexplicable like thank you so much let's get into this makeup look this is the inspo picture for today I think this was like save the best for last kind of deal like I know last week's video the makeup in there it was high level but I think this look is gonna be even cooler so that's why I saved it for last I think the biggest difference that I'm gonna do is put on a lot more concealer for my base than I usually do just because I feel like the more concealer I put, the more of like a blank canvas I get on my eyelid. If my theory is correct, this should work. Ooh, yikes. I think that's a blank enough canvas. So let's start off with the angel eye. So with a fluffy brush, I am just gonna go in with like a nice little brown. It's not too dark. I kind of want something a little bit more soft. So I'm just gonna keep that on my outer crease and then obviously inside the actual crease. Because we're doing something angelic, it should be really soft, really natural. Spooky month is almost over. Spooky month is over in a few days. I feel like this month went by so quickly. I'm gonna take another clean fluffy brush and I'm gonna go in with this lighter shade of brown right here. I think I'm actually gonna go with this one. Not too much and I just wanna like diffuse the top just a little bit. And I gotta be honest, as much as like I've been doing Halloween makeup and I've been playing scary video games, I haven't gotten into the Halloween spirit and that makes me so sad. So I hope you guys have had a little bit more of a festive, a little bit more of a successful scoop scooby season scooby spooky season than me okay i'm then gonna go back in with more concealer because we have to cut the crease on this just a little half crease nothing too crazy i'm just taking a whiter shade and placing that right on top of where i put my concealer to brighten up that cut crease a little bit also if you see me moving up and down it, my posture is so freaking bad. I remember taking music when I was in middle school and posture was just so important and I was I was on top of my shit. But I only took music for a year. So after I stopped doing music, that's where my posture went. Down the drain. Abomination. Disgraceful. <sighs> We're gonna go in with liner again. We had to. There's white liner. She uses white liner. The biggest issue I have with this liner is that it drags like a motherfucker. I'm gonna do the little details with the white liner all over my eye. We're gonna do a wing and then we're gonna do like a little cutting out the crease moment with the white liner and some dots on the top of our eyes. Like it really, it's, it's gotten to the point where I had to keep checking to see if I actually even bought eyeliner because this shit is crazy like if you're an eyeliner i feel like you should work on top of makeup is the makeup the issue is it me am i the problem am i the villain i don't think i'm the villain and then we're gonna do the look how much this transfers on top of the white lighter like it's disgusting girl just do your dots if you'll let me Okay, that looks like shit. It's fine. It's actually fine. No, it's fine. Like, I promise it's fine. So we have that. Now, before we do the little halo on top, we're gonna do the next eye. This one, in theory, should be a little bit more easy. Oakley Doakley, using another fluffy brush, we're gonna take a deeper red. We're gonna go in with this shade right here. And we are gonna put that all on the crease. Also, what are your guys' plans for Halloween? Are you the type of person who likes to go out on Halloween every single year, no matter what age you are? Or do you prefer to like keep it chill, have a party at your house or give away treats? It is Halloween weekend this weekend. Halloween has landed on a really weird week. The weekend feels so far away from the day of actually Halloween because Halloween this year is on a Thursday. Okay, what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna continue going in with the red closer to my lash line here because she does like this little like double liner situation. So we're just gonna go here. Also, do you like my nails? They're spooky. Okay, back in with some concealer. Just in that little gap part that I've left. I'm trying to keep it as close as possible inside. I'm then gonna take this small brush 
it's a bit fluffy but it's tiny enough to not get everywhere and then i'm gonna go in with the black just where we put the concealer and pray that this looks good i'm doing some like dabbing and tapping motions rather than like sweeping it on i feel like this is just going to give me a little bit more precision we're then gonna go back in with the brush that we use for the red and blend the two together. My eyes look very different sizes right now and it's kind of scary. Do you know that picture where it's like, it's a face but it's like deconstructed and it's all abstract? That's how I feel. I'm not gonna do liquid eyeliner. I can't, physically cannot. So I'm gonna go in with the black again and do like a thin black liner. Okay, I think I did an okay job. Okay, and then the last thing to sort of complete the eye look is gonna be the halo on this side and the devil horns on this side. Again, go in with some concealer and I'm gonna draw the circle for the halo right above the brow. She kind of bends with the arch, but that's fine. Then I'm gonna take a flat brush but I'm gonna go in with some yellow. I've used my NYX palette for this entire look. Honestly, if she wasn't sagging like the pants of every wannabe thug, she might be a slave. She's only half a slave. And now we're gonna do the devil horns. Going in with that same red that we've been using this entire time, I'm gonna start off by making a line that way and a line, and then we're gonna kind of like curve her in, but we could also just make a line and then do the curve after. I'll show you what I mean. Do the line and then curve. And then we're just gonna make this bottom piece a little bit bigger. Okay, this is it. This is the finished makeup look, angel on one side devil on the other. What do we think? A little close-up of both of them? Is she giving demure? That is it for this week's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. This is a real shock, the difference. Either I did a really shit job with this one, or I just look better like this. <laughs> Let me know what side you guys prefer out of the two. And once again, thank you guys so much for watching. Everyone who has returned to my channel, everybody who subscribed this month, thank you so much. It means the absolute world to me. You have no idea. Tune in for Thriller Thursdays next week. Again, it's the last Halloween video. There's a little bit of a surprise in that video for you guys. Nothing too major, but I knew I was going to do this. You could probably guess what it is, but for dramatic effect, I won't tell you. Again, if you guys enjoyed, please subscribe. It means the absolute world to me. Give the video a like if you enjoyed, and I will see you guys in next week's video. Bye!